What's up everybody? Let's go for a little walk down the Highlands neighborhood on the east side of Louisville, Kentucky. Yes, this is uh, kind of like the hipster spot. This area is really um, kind of popular and popping off here. It's kind of like the hipster spot, you know? It really uh, gentrified and lots of restaurants, lots of bars and things to do. So this area is kind of uh, a happening place in Louisville right now, on the east side of Louisville. So we're just gonna go for a little walk and uh, show you guys what everything is looking like over here. Lots of businesses, uh, lots of restaurants, lots of historic homes. It's kind of like a real nice historic neighborhood here. So if you're ever in uh, Louisville, Kentucky, this is probably the district you want to check out where all the restaurants, bars, and things to do are all kind of in this little district here on the east side of town. Lots of masks on the floor. People just throw their masks down. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, looting and rioting in the city, but for the most part, I think it's kind of... It doesn't seem like it's mostly in this neighborhood. Really nice stuff out here. Uh, we got all the fall colors coming through, so it's uh, the perfect walking weather and uh, really uh, perfect uh, perfect uh, weather, perfect uh, time of the year to be out here in Louisville, Kentucky. I, I lived in Louisville from 1996 to about 2000, so um, something like that. Taco Luchador. Lots of uh, Cuban, Mexican, Irish, German, all types of restaurants in here. I think there's even a few African and you know, other, all types of interesting restaurants here. So, uh, Taco Luchador. Yes, very, very uh, interesting area here in Louisville. Louisville. The 502. Lots of uh, leaves this time of year on the ground falling. Louisville has a lot of interesting architecture. That's one thing Louisville's got going for it. Lots of interesting architecture. It's a very walkable district, I guess. I guess that's kind of the way they want it to be. So at least this district's pretty nice. Usually when you walk these districts, whether it's Miami or Tampa or... Um, pretty much anywhere. When you walk these type of districts, you usually have uh, homeless people begging for change or something. So we'll see if anybody uh, messes with us. Here's an Irish pub. There's a lot of Irish here in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, Irish, German, uh, lots of that here. Beautiful, beautiful buildings. Nice uh, architecture for sure. And this is a massive road. It's kind of like a little Havana of Louisville, you know what I mean? Like, nice little district. And I believe this is a uh, Highlands neighborhood. Louisville is still part of the South. I know a lot of people consider it a Midwest city, but the Ohio River is the Mason-Dixon line, and it is south of that, so it is a Southern city. Here's a Starbucks. I mean, what could be more hipster than a Starbucks? Huh. Oh, that's what I need to get. I need to put up donation boxes throughout the city so people can make donations to me. So, uh, as you can see, very uh, hipsterish. I guess I can walk this way. I can walk now this way. And the neighborhoods here are beautiful. Of course, any neighborhood like this, the real estate's gonna be ridiculously crazy. Uh, usually real estate in neighborhoods like this, when they're getting kind of gentrified, usually, uh, Rents become ridiculous, but uh, looking great here. 
in the Highlands neighborhood. One of the most up and coming areas of Louisville, Kentucky, the 502. Yup. And I'll show you guys the residential areas. There are some incredibly beautiful residential areas here. The houses in Louisville, if you like architecture like me, you guys know I'm a total sucker for architecture. And Louisville, Kentucky has so many great little spots when it comes to architecture. I'm talking from fall colors to architecture, the city does have charm. It's not the buildings or the trees that uh, are of interest in a non-attractive way. It's definitely not that. But I can see over here some really uh, interesting homes and neighborhoods. And they are expensive, of course. They're not going to be affordable when they're really nice. But Louisville does have a lot for neighborhoods as far as if you want that charm. You want, you know, those types of neighborhoods where, you know, everything's just absolutely gorgeous. It doesn't get better than Louisville. You know, like, and they get expensive. I mean, but again, everything good is expensive. So usually if it's good, it's expensive. That's how that usually rolls. So I'm gonna show you guys a uh, really nice neighborhood here. Probably the most, um, the most part of good, Louisville, good, Louisville's good neighborhoods are on the east side. Anything west of 65 is usually kind of trashier, a little bit more dangerous, less attractive from a real estate perspective. Uh, old Louisville's beautiful and that's one of the city's most historic neighborhoods. However, uh, Old Louisville is unfortunately kind of become overcrowded and stuff. It doesn't have a neighborhood feel anymore. It's kind of more like a, just kind of like a, you know, gentrification's really gone in through there. So this, this has retained its authentic feel more, much more, you could say. Um, but yeah, beautiful neighborhood. So if you've been thinking about Louisville, Kentucky, and you got a good chunk of money, this is probably the area you want to end up in. Uh, Louisville has some beautiful neighborhoods. And most of the really nice neighborhoods are on this side over here, so. Oh, crap. So just want to show you guys how nice these neighborhoods are and these types of videos are so much nicer you must just walk them so you can really appreciate the little details the architecture the the color of the trees all that let me just slow it down a little bit and uh da, da, da. just nice stuff out here so beautiful Beautiful fall colors, beautiful neighborhoods, beautiful architecture. Louisville does have some great areas, so we're not just going to do the hoods. I thought I was just going to do hoods. No, of course not. The east side's got some good stuff, but I'll tell you this. Even though I'm from Louisville and everything, I've spent very little time on the east side. I've probably been on the east side twice my whole life. It just seems like everything I've done has been on the west side, so here we are in a more... It almost feels like you're in a forest here, you know? You got so much tree cover. Really great. And I got to find my way back to Katie somehow. Lots of uh, posters expressing how people feel about stuff. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that pretty much describes this neighborhood. I didn't want to get too specific on the... I don't want to get too specific on, uh, y'all can pretty much figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can pretty much figure that out. So anyways, there you go. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to cross the street here to the other side. I love these type of neighborhoods. It's just so beautiful, but dang, they are expensive. You know what I think? I want to look at your trees and the architecture of your house, not your be beliefs, whatever it is you believe in. I just want to look at your trees, 
your house, your architecture, maybe your wife. Just kidding. But interesting neighborhood for a fact. Beautiful, beautiful homes. And of course, they're in good shape. That's really the icing on the cake. So many of these historic neighborhoods you go through, like, there just aren't enough people that want to live in the neighborhoods, you know? And when there are enough, the prices go up. That lets you know people want to be there. So, Louisville's a weird city. Like I said, everything on the west side is kind of crappy. And then east of the highway, a little bit better. But I hear reggaeton music. So, there's Spanish people out here as well. And Louisville is a diverse city. It has um, a lot of diversity. There's a Vietnamese community, a Cuban community. There's African community. Um, there's lots of Muslims, Arabs, uh, Europeans, Bosnians. I hear reggaeton. Or reggae. Either way, I'm going to get a copyright strike. So since... Let's just drop the video here, guys. So I don't get a copyright strike. Somebody's playing some reggae. We're out. Hope you guys enjoy the walk.